I, th I think it's important that people know the history of Burlington and know where the roots that took place here in Burlington and, uh, and, and, and just to hopefully that we can restore and, and keep some of the historical places that we still have standing because we've lost a lot already. At one time this was a, a shipping port. There used to be three wharves that were located here. Uh, a very huge agricultural area. As I said, it was the Gardens of Canada. And if you look at their city crest, we have a schooner, which indicates the ports, the apple tree, which indicates the farming and the wheat shaft as well. And I guess also the people that uh, established themselves here. A lot of good historical people. And of course, we're standing in Spencer Smith Park who was the uh, head of the Horticultural Society here in Burlington, and that's why this park is named after him. And right in Spencer Smith Park, you can visit the historical plaque commemorating the Brant Inn. Not many people know what the Brant Inn was, but it was a huge concert venue in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And it was a landmark on Lake Ontario. And the interesting thing is that black artists from the United States who could come up like Louis Armstrong and uh, Eartha Kitt could come to Canada and actually stay in the same hotel that they played in. So the Brand Inn was very big in its day, broadcast on CBC across, the, across Canada. David has created a new historical photo exhibit on display this week. At the bottom of Brand Street at Lakeshore, 14 panels depicting historic images of Burlington uh, from early 1900s right up till the 60s. So it gives people a chance to see what was here, what we've lost, what we've kept. Someone will ask me, where was this taken? And when you point it out to them, they go, that's unbelievable. So there's a picture there of an aerial photograph taken of downtown Burlington. And you can see in the background of the aerial photograph, you can see Central High School, Central Public School, and there's no plaza on Branch Street, there's just orchards. And they just can't believe that was 1946. I did the design and, and photo restorations on the panels, but it is the, they're the property of the Burlington Historical Society, and they will move them around throughout the year to various locations in Burlington for display. There are in-person events this year, and you can find them at heritageburlington.ca. We still have some openings for the uh, Greenwood Cemetery tour that takes place on Friday evening at 6.45. Uh, Freeman Station uh, tour and visit on Saturday from 10 to 3. And then Maple Park Community Gardens on Maple Avenue, just south of the Maple View Mall, talking about Gardens of Canada at that time. And Burlington was this, the, one of the garden cities in, in its day. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.